Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. So I had a friend reach out to me regarding a copy of a Book of Mormon that his family just received from a grandparent and wanted me to see it. So I'm honored that he would want me to review this printing and share it here. This is a 1962 hardcover edition of the Book of Mormon, produced by Deseret Book for The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Previously, I did a review of a softcover edition from the 1970s, so this edition looks to be the parent edition printed in 1962, and in similar style with a few exceptions. As mentioned, this edition is in large print, similar to other Salt Lake printings of the time, and formatted in the same way since 1920. The volume is just enlarged, with the same page layout and verses of other editions at the time. What's unique to this printing is that instead of two sections of pictures, this volume has pictures laced throughout the volume. In the beginning pages of the Book of Mormon uh, have pictures of Joseph Smith, one of getting the plates of the Book of Mormon, and a picture of the three witnesses to the golden plates. There is also a picture of the hill in Upper State New York, where Joseph received the records. You'll notice that the hill has some bushes planted to make the words Camorra out of the hedges. One thing I learned recently is that those hedges were planted by Willard Bean, the boxing champion that restored the Smith homestead in the early 1900s. He was called to be a Mormon missionary by the church to live in Palmyra and purchase land as available, which included the hill Camorra. His story is portrayed in the movie, The Fighting Preacher, and I thought it interesting that this edition had an aerial view picture of the hill with those hedges. They have since been taken out as the area has been re-landscaped in modern times. The first half of the Book of Mormon also has all of the Arnold Freiberg pictures, including Ammon defending the sheep and Captain Moroni, which aren't in the 1981 and onward Salt Lake editions. In the back of the volume, laced throughout, has pictures of Mesoamerican details, and it's interesting that Deseret Book and editors included various Central American pictures as related to Central American Book of Mormon theory. Once again, I go better into detail regarding Central American Book of Mormon model theory in the previous video, and I'll encourage that you watch that one also. So, I'm glad that someone took me up on an offer to review their specific copy of the Book of Mormon. If you have a special or unique edition that you'd like reviewed, or if you have ideas of ones that I haven't worked on yet, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Thanks, everyone.